John, you got any tips for the newbie trying to get their first yeah, deal? Yeah, a couple of things. One, I'd say make your first one a win. Nobody really wants to to buy something just to have to keep plugging cash into it. So find, you know, find the right first deal for yourself. Secondly, don't forget to work on the business. Don't work in the business 100% of the time. You know, in the beginning, you're going to work 99% in the business, but somehow get to appropriate balance on that. And I guess the last thing is have a backup and take a vacation, man. I mean, it can be a three, it's a 365 day. We just said we like to be open 365 days. So have a backup, have a trusted backup, especially if you only got one store, you know, have a family member or whatever, train them, uh, take your family down to Disney World or whatever. Just if, if you let the business you run the business, don't let it run you. Ooh, another that. another quick that. thought, Jordan, in terms yeah. of just, you know, folks looking for their first store is, as I mentioned before, this doesn't stop when you become an owner, but go do laundry, go spend some time sitting in a laundromat, get comfortable with what goes on as a customer. As I mentioned, I did this when I talked to folks that ask me, you know, what's it take to get into the business? One of my questions is what's your experience with laundromats? Have you been in one? Have you ever used one? What's your perception? And a lot of folks are, oh, I saw, you know, something on TikTok or I saw a bucket of quarters or I, I, I've heard that there's this notion that it so comes so. itself or, you know, all these different things. And at the end of the day, just go sit in one, do a load of laundry every week, mix it up, go to different ones, especially when you see the owner and introduce yourself, you know, just, you know, treat it as if you are the customer for a couple weeks, get really familiar so that when you do get a deal, as John mentioned, you know, you, you'll you figure out if it's a home run being a customer, but you'll also understand some of the, the customers and how some people interact in the laundromat or, you know, as I've alluded to a couple times, you're going to have a lot of preconceived notions that are going right out the window when you take over. The quicker you can get rid of anything you thought you knew about consumer behavior with the pellets or, you know, folks wanting to use six machines to do two loads of laundry and they're willing to pay, uh, the better off you'll be. And that'll really help desensitize you very quickly. Awesome.